How are you doing? I'm Martin from Gardens for Life and Birdland Homestead. I just wanted to tell you about uh, some of our in-person events coming up. Uh, in March we're starting off with our free event. Uh, so it's actually a community event, a seed and plant swap. And even if you don't have any seeds or plants or cuttings, you can still come along anyway. So uh, don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunity to speak to fellow gardeners and to build community in your local area. And you can also support the event by simply bringing in either a prize for the raffle or maybe some baked goods for the communal tables. Or you can buy some uh, tickets for the raffle that we're going to run uh, on the day. For more details, please just check the link below. Um, we are going to be hosting that on the 3rd of March. We're going to have another homesteading introduction day coming up. Those were very popular in the past. Um, so that's going to include six different topics that we believe are probably the most essential. Uh, first of all, growing your own food using no-dig gardening. And we'll teach you all about how to start your own plants and what to do about fertility and compost and all the rest. We're going to be talking about preserving food. That includes canning, pressure canning, uh, drying, freezing, um, even glassing eggs. Number three is um, how to keep your own chickens for egg production and how easy it can be even if you've never kept chickens before. It's a really great way to get into backyard protein production. Uh, and we're going to be talking about herbal remedies, uh, how to make your own teas, tinctures, uh, decoctions, uh, oils, and even how to make your own deodorant and creams and balms. It's easier than you might think, and it's tremendously useful, especially when you have some of these herbs in your garden already. Backup power and lights is going to be another thing, and batteries. We're also going to be talking about home brewing, how to make your own beer, cider and wine at home. Country wines specifically are some, something so unique and special, especially when you're invited for a dinner party and you bring a homemade bottle of wine that you can't buy in the shop. We're also going to have a more specific course on uh, growing your own food using no-dig gardening. And that's going to be on site, actually in our garden. And we're going to teach you all about how to start your own plants, how to get your garden bed set up, well, how to deal with weeds and slugs and all kinds of different other things. For example, what time of year uh, to start your garden, things to consider before you start, like your observation, your planning, even your preparation and your installation and maintenance as well. We're going to cover all those topics all in the one course and it'll give you the tools to make a start even if you've never grown uh, your own food before and even if you are uh, already an advanced um, member of our gardening brigade well you can still probably pick up a few uh, tips and tricks here and there. We're also going to have an extended garden forage walk here in our own gardens and we're going to be showing you over a hundred different plants uh, that are useful in some way and it's going to be mostly based on plants, not so much the techniques of how we actually started our gardens. And of course, it being a forage walk, you can uh, bring a basket and fill it up along the way. And last but not least uh, is the plant propagation course, which is probably the most underrated skill of them all, especially among those homesteading and gardening. Plant propagation is really a really powerful skill to have because it just allows you to multiply your plants and multiply your efforts in that way and actually extend your gardens exponentially and make them tremendously more useful and have more of an impact in your life and in your productivity on your homestead. So in the plant propagation course we talk about how to plant and store seeds, how to start plants from cuttings like uh, softwood, hardwood and semi-hardwood and bulbs and crown divisions and uh, rhizomes as well and layering and grafting is all included so if you'd like to know more all the details for each of those courses and events are actually on our website and a table of contents are on there too along with some demo videos as well we hope to see some of you there Thanks to Declan from the Sunflower Garden in Roscommon Town for giving us some seeds. What do you think about sunflowers? I see one right there. <laughs> you like sunflowers, don't you? So yeah. many seeds. 
Yeah, the seeds, you can see the seeds there. Each seed actually has a tiny little flower. 